Yo, what's up? It's your favorite neighborhood historian, Dilla. He's considered the Jackie Robinson for Latino ball players throughout the world. Let's talk about the great Minnie Minoso. Santorino Aresta Armas Minoso Arrieta was born November 25th, 1925. Born in Cuba, Brother Minoso would immigrate to the United States in 1945 to join the Negro League. He signed with the New York Cubans, instantly helping them win. He won the 1947 Negro League World Series and was also dope. He played at Comiskey Park before joining the major leagues as he was an all-star in 1947 and 1948. In 1949, Minnie Minoso would make history when he became the first Afro-Cuban player to be signed to the major leagues. The White Sox would get the Cuban Comet in 1951, and in true historic fashion, at his first at-bat, you know he hit a home run. American League Rookie of the Year and numerous Golden Glove Awards and also All-Star appearances, he was truly a baseball legend and ahead of his time. He was like really, really fast. Minnie Minoso is the first black player for the Chicago White Sox, and like other pioneering players of color, he faced some discrimination, particularly when the team played down south, and in fact, during the 1950s, he was often the player hit most by a pitch. I wonder if that was a coincidence. What's not a coincidence is that Minnie Minoso's determination and grit allowed for him to play 17 years in Major League Baseball. His hard work served as an example for players like Orlando Cepeda, the great Roberto Clemente, and former White Sox player and World Series winning coach Ozzie Guillen. Nowadays, the spirit and memory of the great Cuban common is still alive and well at the ballpark on 35th Street. And we certainly can't wait to celebrate when he's finally enshrined into baseball's Hall of Fame, the Chicago way.